Hi, I'm Mike from Synlinks.com, and with me today is Nathan Sawaya. He is a Lego artist of an awesome caliber. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have fun. It's yeah. not a bad job. I from I, from watching the film, I I liked everything that you did so far. So. Thank you. It's it's cool. I like it a lot. Uh, uh, it's it's an interesting job. I mean, I, I really want to create art using mm -hmm. this toy, and so I kind of just express what I'm thinking. Now, this isn't part of the questions that I wrote down, but um, how do you like? How do you get the curves in it? Like you just like link that's, the last piece of it, and then that's the key, right? I mean, curves are are really the magic of Lego because you're using for the most part rectangular bricks. When right. I'm sculpting I'm using just those traditional bricks I had as a kid, just the, the square and rectangular pieces. And uh, for the most part when I'm doing large-scale sculptures like of a human form, mm -hmm. um, it's really just creating a figure out of the bricks that when you see it up close you're gonna see those sharp corners but then when you back away from it right. all those corners just blend into the curves and yeah. it's capturing that blending and making it look like like the human form or, or the proper curves that really is the whole essence of it all mm -hmm. and I was watching um, when I was watching the film the core is completely empty and then, yeah for the most part yeah yeah because they don't need to be they don't need to be solid sculptures yeah. structurally sometimes I'll put cross bracing that I build out of Lego mm -hmm. on the inside they don't need to be solid, and they would be so heavy if yeah, they were solid. So that's true. That would be very heavy. Um, the um, you may not even be able to finite this, but how many commissions do you <laughs> get during like how many commissions do you like commission requests do you get during a, a day, a week, or a month? That's. Uh, it, it, it varies, of mm -hmm. course, but generally there's a few com few requests every day. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes there's dozens, sometimes there's hundreds. Generally, there's just a few on average. And um, I think it's one of the best parts of my job, right, mm -hmm. is that I get these crazy requests every morning. Like I open up my email and it's kind of fun to see what people's passion is and what they want built out of Lego. Mm -hmm. And so... It's become a real, a real great part of, of what I do is that, you know, I get to pick and choose the projects I want to work on, and some people have some really interesting ideas, and sometimes it's just really fun to to take on these wacky ideas. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I had time to do even more projects, but th there's only so much I can do. But it's been fun to just pick and choose projects over over the years. Cool. Um, how many how many projects have you completed so far? Oh, uh, that's a great question. I don't know for sure. Probably hundreds of them. Um, I started uh, doing this almost ten years ago, where I was practicing law as a corporate lawyer in New York City, and then I left the law to become a Lego artist and play with bricks. So many requests. Yeah, it got to the point where my website crashed from too many hits, and I was like, "All right, there's nice. something to this." So I, I left the law, became an artist, opened an art studio in New York City, and just started building with bricks full time. And it was an interesting time because I didn't really know if I was going to be able to make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then eventually I started doing art shows mm -hmm. and more and more art shows. Well, really just growing the art shows. Right. And uh, as, as the Brickumentary documents, you know, the biggest art show I ever did and, and really a turning point for me was the art, we, uh, the art exhibition we did in New York City, mm -hmm. and that's what the Brickumentary uh, does a nice job of capturing all of that. And uh, so over the years, it's been hundreds of sculptures plus all the commissions. I, you know, I, I it's I don't keep track. Yeah, I figured you probably didn't because there's so many. Um, what was the favorite, most favorite one that you worked on? Well. Um, I do get that question every once in a while, uh, and it's hard to answer because there are some that I'm really into for a while, and I, and then I move on to to something else, and that becomes the focus. And so I think the best answer is it's always the next one because mm -hmm. I get really excited about what I'm going to be doing next, and, and I start thinking about it and how is this going to work and will it will it work, and then that becomes everything I'm thinking about till till it's done, and then I move on. 
So it's, it's a continuous process. I can't really pick one over the years that just is the favorite. It's like picking your favorite child. It just mm -hmm. can't be done, right? Do you ever work on multiple projects at the same time? Yeah, generally there's probably two or three things going on at the same time, one being the main focus and then some other projects going on. Cool. Yeah. Um, now, if I remember correctly, you did the ones downstairs, or in SDCC, did you not? Which, well, I've done some things over the years of, uh, at SDCC. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Comic-Con is a great opportunity to showcase these, some of the projects I'm working on. I'll be uh, revealing some new stuff, perhaps, in the next day or two. Um, so I don't know which ones we're talking about, but there's always a few things I've done uh, around. Yeah, Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, I, for some reason, I was thinking that I saw that you had done all of the ones down in the in the main... Oh, oh, oh here at the uh, LEGO Dimensions, oh, I, I, did some, I did some of the, the work for them downstairs okay, here got at it. the hotel, yeah. Cool. For the Lego Dimensions event, and you said that you've already you've, that you've been working on this for over ten years now. Yeah, it's wow. been over ten years. That's I mean, cool. I had Lego bricks as a child, so right. if you really want to parse it out, <laughs> uh, it's well over ten years. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's a full time gig. It's been about ten years. Awesome. Yeah, uh, that's all the questions I really had. All right, for you, awesome. Man. So well, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Thank guys. you very much.